What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Trucking Journey. I'm Trucker Jim and this is episode 5 of season 5 and I am coming to you from Indiana and y'all, there's a big ass moon behind me. But apparently it's called the Pink Moon, which it does have a bit of a pink hue. Y'all want to see it again? But I am here at the hotel, a little outside of Indianapolis, Indiana in Greenwood, Indiana. Today was the shortest day I've had so far. Only delivered to one store, one load, easy peasy. But since I've got a little extra free time, I thought I'd grill out. The hotel that NFI has put me up in for the three weeks has grilled. And this hot, hot, hot. I wouldn't exactly call it clean, 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 but I don't have a grill cleaning brush. But I do have something to put on it. Chicken chicken breast to be exact. So we're gonna put that on. Close the lid and wipe out our bowl of raw chicken stuff. I hope the audio is okay. I am using the big Canon camera, but it's a little windy out here. In case you've been living under a rock or you're watching this at some time well into the future, it is 2020. We are going through a global pandemic. Tons of businesses are closed. Restaurants, you can't go to them. You can do pickup, curbside, delivery. That's about it. Grocery stores, however, are rocking. And that's what I'm doing. I'm up here with uh, NFI, which is a company that acquired GNP back in December, working on one of their accounts for Aldi grocery stores, which is cool. Not only am I a driver and a deliverer of Aldi groceries, but also a consumer of Aldi's groceries. Aldi's has been my number one grocery store I visit most often back home in South Carolina. Well, for the past several months anyway. But I am in a sleeper truck up here. That's the red one on the other side of the NFI truck. I was told I was going to have to spend the night and live in the truck the entire time I was up here with the exception of doing a reset. About a few days after I got here that changed and I've been in this very nice hotel for close to a week now. I worked eight days straight. You know, I drove up here, which took a day, and then seven days straight doing the grocery store delivery, and then they gave me a day off, which was yesterday. So today, I started with a fresh 70, and I'm pretty sure if I choose to, I can go the whole time without taking any more days off. Got two more weeks up here. I've been getting several messages here lately some of you inquiring about working on certain accounts for NFI or for GNP. If you're on the East Coast, that could happen. I'll have a link in the description so you can do an online application. Whether you live in the Northeast, Pennsylvania, Indiana, that's more NFI territory. If you're in the Southeast, like the Carolinas, Georgia, Tennessee, that's more GNP. But we're all one big happy family. Let's check on the chicken. It is not ready. This grill is not getting very hot. There's no tank, but there is fire, so I guess there's a gas line ran to these. Once again, the pink moon. This camera does not get epic moon shots. I guess I need a Nikon 900 or one of those kind of cameras to get that type of zoom. But there is a pretty sky behind me. It is my intention in this video to show you guys a little bit about how grocery store deliveries work. Because it's different than what you've been seeing me do for the last few years. Just, you know, doing regional or doing Volvo for GMP. With grocery deliveries, driving, driving the truck is the easy part of it. it it's kind of like taking a break when you're behind the wheel. The real work is loading your trailer and unloading your trailer at the grocery stores. If you're a fat guy, a fat truck driver with a big trucker gut, if you want to change that, 
Well, your diet's probably the most important thing. Keto is what I recommend. Cutting your carbs, increasing your fat, having good clean protein. But movement is what's gonna help more than anything. And with this, guys, you move around a lot. I'm fortunate enough to have an Apple Watch that keeps up with my movement and my activity, and I have been killing it. Just about every day I've worked, I've got between 10,000 and 14,000 steps. Which that's anywhere from like six, seven, eight miles a day. I know, right? I read an article a while back about 10,000 steps. That's like the elixir for, for good health and longevity. If you move, you're not gonna die. So the secret to life is to keep moving or to keep on trucking, as we say here on the Trucker Jam channel. But if any of you GNP drivers are watching, I don't know if you guys are struggling with freight back in the Carolinas and everything with regional with most of manufacturing shut down. I kind of expected that to happen and I didn't want my income to drop drastically is why I signed up to help out with the NFI account with Aldi up here in Indiana. There's a few others that they have. I don't know everything that's going on with NFI because there's a lot. And I ain't exactly in the cool kids club yet. But I'm having a good time here. All the people are super cool, very nice. There's other truckers from all over up here helping out with this account. There's 50 drivers needed on this account. And I believe there's only 30 full-timers. So if you live anywhere near Indianapolis, once again, there'll be a link in the description for NFI and GMP if you'd like to put in an online application if you are an experienced truck driver. When my chicken gets close to being done, I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce, but not any barbecue sauce. This has no high fructose corn syrup, which almost every sauce that is available in America has high fructose corn syrup, but this is Montgomery Inn barbecue sauce, no high fructose corn syrup. It is gluten free. Sounds good to me. So, uh, why don't we check the chicken? Hopefully it's time to flip and sauce. I got one big one and one little one. And obviously this big one is taking a long ass time to cook. But my beverage. Not that I'm being negative, but that thing's empty. Not half empty, empty. So since there is no danger of burning the chicken, we're gonna go make another. If there is one complaint I have about the candlewood, this door freaking sucks. It is so hard to get in. Like, what do I have to do? There we go. So, another complaint is the water here is nasty. And the ice out of the ice machine, it's nasty. I have a bag of ice. I wasn't told that I was not allowed to drink while I'm in Indiana. And in Indiana, similar to Louisiana, you can buy booze anywhere. The drugstore, Walmart, the grocery store, all of them have it. And I am almost out of Coca-Cola. I try not to drink a lot of Coca-Cola or any soda for that matter, but it is a wonderful, Mixer for my bottle of bourbon. Cheers. I don't think my camera's doing the moon a whole lot of justice, but this is supposed to be the biggest moon of the year. Would you guys like to see another moon? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hadn't had enough of these to do that on YouTube just yet. Let's do another chicken check. I have sauce the little and this big one it just ain't really cooking guys where is the hot spot on this grill so while I'm sitting here I'm curious to what's going on with you guys 
There's a handful of you that I'm friends with. There's another handful of you that comment regularly and I read every comment that's ever posted on my channel. I may not reply to everyone, but I do read everyone, which there's not a lot. So drop a comment below to how your life has changed because of the coronavirus. Are you at home? Quarantine? Is anybody that's watching this sick yet or have family or friends that came down with the coronavirus? They're saying this is going to be a mother of a week. They're expecting more people to get sick and more people to die this week than any week so far. And that's scary, especially for people who have health conditions or older people, baby boomers. Roseanne Barr says it's a ploy to wipe out the baby boomer generation. Which, Roseanne Barr has kind of always been batshit crazy. She's funny, but I don't know if I'm going to take my advice from Roseanne Barr. One thing I've noticed since the whole coronavirus thing started happening is traffic isn't very heavy. Which I guess there's a silver lining in all dark clouds, right? But for you truckers, has your runs changed? Are you waiting longer? Or have you tried to deliver places that are no longer open? What's going on with all you drivers out there on the road? I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. Alright everybody, it's a brand new day and it's time to wrap up this episode. I do apologize, you're not going to see my grilled chicken. It's in my belly. You're not going to see any grocery store trucking. All of this video was filmed here at the hotel property. But the good news is, episode 6 will be coming in a day or two and it is my intention. <laughs> I know I said that earlier, but it is my intention to share with you guys a little bit about how the grocery store trucking works. I like it. It's different. It's cool. It's a lot more exercise and the money's pretty good. If you yourself would like to find out more information, the recruiting department is the ones that are the expert on you know what's available in every area, how the pay plans work and all of that. I will have their contact information in the description below, but until next time, please, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Everybody going through